We're just hours away from the unprecedented arraignment of former President Trump here in New York City. The critics are calling D.A. Alvin Bragg's case a weaponization of the law, but President Biden isn't worried. Meantime, the Trump presidential campaign is getting a record setting boost in his bid to take back the White House, raising over eight million dollars in the four days since the indictment. Outkick host Tommy Lahren joins us now. Tommy, do you share Joe Biden's faith in the legal system to treat Donald Trump fairly? Well, unfortunately, this legal system has a history of treating Donald Trump unfairly, but I think Joe should tread very lightly and be very careful with the justice system in general, given the fact that Hunter Biden, his son, and of course he himself, the big guy, they have numerous investigations by House Republicans going on into their business dealings. So I hope that he is singing the same tune when House Republicans conclude with their investigations. But really what this is, is this is such pompous narcissism from the White House yet again. And it's really quite pathetic when you think about it, that the Democrat machine has to come in and pinch hit for Joe Biden yet again because they know that he cannot win an election alone in 2024. So they have to go after his leading opponent yet again with some sham charges, this BS indictment. Of course, Joe Biden is happy about it. He has to do less work in 2024, but he is grossly underestimating Donald Trump and most importantly, Trump supporters, as we are seeing from these fundraising totals already, guys. So, Tommy, how do you think this is going to play into um, into the, the presidential campaign for Trump? Well, listen, we still don't have an announcement from Ron DeSantis, so anything can happen in the coming months. But I will say this. This indictment is one of the best things that could happen to the Trump campaign because it's waking Americans up to understand they continually go after this man and they go after him for a reason because he is what's standing between this weaponization of the justice system, the swamp, and average everyday Americans. And this is going to be symbolic what happens in a few hours because a lot of Americans don't feel like this is just happening to Donald Trump. They feel like it's happening to them symbolically and they know that this man has been fighting for America first for years and they know that that this system would not be going after him if not for the fact that he was fighting for these forgotten Americans. So what happens in the coming hours? I think you're going to see a lot of Americans putting those mega hats back on and it's going to make for a very interesting primary season. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.